can come in if you'd like to. Is storytelling the way to destigmatize mathematics? Or is the way making mathematics relatable to real life? Please understand I'm not saying this is either or. Well, it's, it's actually probably what I said in the beginning, I, I believe in the conjunction and, you know, whether it is for practical reasons, uh, some uh, students may be attracted to the practicality of it. Some students may be attracted to the dreaminess, artistic part of it. But again, Peter Taylor, who I referenced, um, you know, he's in like three departments at Queens University in uh, uh, Canada here. And uh, he's, he's also teaches a course called uh, Poetry and Mathematics, where he basically compares lines of actual poetry to lines of mathematical proof in terms of showing the, the, the parallel ideas that occur in poetry and in mathematics. So if somebody is smitten by the poetry of mathematics, that's wonderful. If somebody wants to become like a statistician or is uh, you know smitten by all the statistics in sports, that's amazing. That's that's we have to open up more doors. Just because we open up a door doesn't mean we close one. We keep all the doors open. And really, this is trying to really, in the end, showcase. That's why going back to the book, Crest the Peacock, you know, the Crest the Peacock has all these beautiful feathers. And I think metaphorically, they mean all the different um, purposes for mathematics.